One of the biggest mistakes that engineering organizations make when they conduct PM training of any kind is that they don't educate the project managers' managers on what they're teaching them. So if five of my project managers are going through a project management training or development program and me as their manager don't understand what they're learning, then there's no way for me to reinforce those skill sets and those concepts to them and they're likely going to lose that once they leave the training. It's the biggest failure. We see it all the time when we build custom project management programs for consulting firms. So in this episode, I'm going to give you three actions that you can take to make sure that your project managers' managers are equipped to help their project managers transfer what they've learned back to the job. So I wanted to spend some time today talking about the importance of project managers, managers in terms of building a sustainable, consistent PM culture throughout your consulting firm. This is something that we deal with a lot when we build custom. We do a lot of custom project management development programs for AE firms, and we put a lot of effort into it. And the firms have project managers that they want us to train, right? They sketch everything out. We know who you want to train. We get the, we get the dates set and we get everything ready to go. And then what happens is they really don't pay a lot of attention to the project manager's managers. And at EMI, we lean heavily on something called the six disciplines of breakthrough learning by Pollock and Jefferson. It's a white paper. It's basically a, a proven process for driving learning transfer, Right. We all remember the PM boot camps where you'd go for the day and you'd get a lot of good information, but then you'd go back to your desk and you'd never get to practice the information, right? So we try to avoid that in our programs and space things out. However, in the six Ds, one of the biggest benefits or one of the biggest, I guess I should say drivers to learning transfer is after the training sessions are over, the learning needs to be reinforced, in that company, in that organization, right? Even after the instructor is gone. And that's where the managers come into play, right? It's almost like if you were to teach a child a new language in school, right? But their parents didn't know that language. They're not really going to get to practice the language at home, which means it's going to take them longer to learn that language. It's the same thing here. It is absolutely imperative that if you're conducting project management training or a development program of any kind, the managers of the PMs going through the program must be familiar with the concepts and the language and the templates and the tools that you're teaching so that they can also reinforce it. And I know some of you may be thinking, well, Anthony, isn't that like obvious? The answer is no, because most firms don't do this. I know this because we work with a lot of firms you know, doing these programs. So I want to give you three ways that you can help your project managers, managers, stay up to date and reinforce the PM concepts that you're trying to teach, right? Now, number one is more or less obvious, but have them involved in the program, right? Whether that means have them attending the sessions. And I realize that the project managers, managers may not have the time to attend all of the sessions, but having them attend portions of them or a couple of them or instruct or give a portion of a couple of them can be very beneficial, right? Because then firsthand, they're seeing the information, they're interacting with the PMs, and they have a good feel for you know, what you're teaching. In fact, they're teaching some of it, right? If you get them to instruct parts of it. So I think having them there to learn it and to see it and to be exposed is important, but also having them there shows the project managers that their managers are bought into the process. They're on board with these concepts and these tools and these templates that we're learning about through this program. And therefore, I can go to them with questions that I have about it, right? I mean, think about it. If you're a project manager and you go through a training program over three months, six months, a year, whatever it is, if you don't feel like your manager knows what was going on in the training, are you comfortable approaching him or her with questions about it? And if you can't, think about how much that can really kind of diminish your growth as a project manager, 
All right. So it's really, really, really important that the project managers, managers are involved in the training in some way, shape, or form, both for having a presence there and for learning the concepts. The second thing that you can do, and I highly recommend that you do this, if you are conducting any type of PM training or PM development program, give the managers of the project managers in the program a crash course on the concepts that you're covering, right? So if the training itself is 10 or 20 hours, but the managers, PM's managers can't sit through that, of course, put together like a 90 minute crash course that you can give to the PM's managers hitting the main points, the main frameworks, the main concepts in the development program. You can even put together some kind of a manual or a book or a guide that goes along with this crash course training and then offer it a couple of times. And again, it could be a couple of 90 minute sessions, but again, this serves a few purposes. Number one, obviously you're teaching them the concepts and the content, but number two, you're also, it's, it's a training experience or a development experience in itself for the PM's managers, because they're going to get together. They're going to brainstorm. They're going to talk a little bit. They're going to learn some stuff. They may talk about what works for them with some of their leadership styles or concepts or strategies, and there'll be some knowledge sharing going on. So it definitely will be, there'll be some return on investment there for you as a firm, getting some of these higher level leaders together. And, and at the end of the day, as I said earlier, they're going to have to be the ones to reinforce the learning once the actual development program is over. So anything that you can do to bolster their knowledge, their interest, their engagement with these topics is critical. And having this kind of crash course for them will serve that purpose. And also by making it much shorter than the training program, they won't feel like they have to give a lot of time up for it. Because as much as you and I know it's critically important, they're busy and they are going to think I have a lot of other stuff that I could be doing, right? All right. So so that's the second thing that you can do, which I think is, is really important. And then the third point that you can take or the third action you can take is build in some kind of long-term consistent touch points between the project managers and their managers around these project management concepts, tools, strategies, and philosophies, All right? So for example, that could look like, you know, quarterly PM calls of some kind where all the project managers in the company are invited and their managers are leading the calls. Maybe it's a panel of the managers and it's a Q&A or it's a case study of something that's going on with a project. Because again, what you're doing with these calls is you are creating a project management culture where you're basically sending a message to your PM saying that project management is important in our organization, which is why we're going to keep talking about it. We're not going to put you through a one and done training program, quote unquote. And I don't like the word training. If you've listened to the podcast before, you've probably heard me say that, but I think that there's a very negative connotation associated with the word training in the industry where people think if it's a training, I go to it, I go to a webinar, I go to a one-off training and I'm done. At the end of the day, nobody becomes a better project manager in 90 minutes or even a day or two, Right. It's about learning and development. That's why we call them learning and development programs now at EMI. So be careful when you hear the word training or use the word training, because I do think it has a very short-lived theme to it. And that's not how you become a better project manager or a better leader, right? So develop some way that your project managers and their managers across the company can interact and talk about the latest things going on in project management. Talk about a project that went right or a project that went wrong, kind of a lessons learned opportunity, right? There are so many options and ways that you can do this. And what I always tell our clients is if somebody were to walk up to one of your PMs and said, when's the last time that you had PM training? And they're going to use the word training because everyone does. You want your PMs to say, oh, we have ongoing training in our firm. That's consistently ongoing. At least once a quarter, we do touch points and we have other things going on at all times. That's the answer that you should shoot for. When we build these custom project management programs, we're interviewing PMs within our clients' firms. And we ask them that, when's the last time you had training? And I can't tell you how many times they say, well, when I started here seven years ago, when I became a project manager eight years ago, you know, I, I was sent to some boot camp training 10 years ago. And, and, and I'm just thinking to myself, eight years ago? 
like project management is evolving and changing. You can't have someone get trained once. And what we do at EMI is we build multi-tier programs, right? So you might get intro to project management a couple of years ago when you became a PM, but now you need advanced project management. So just think as the end point being your PM saying, we're consistently getting development as a project manager through many different ways at our firms. We don't really have a one-off training that I went to. That's the goal. All right, so just to recap, we're talking about how important the managers of project managers are to reinforcing project management development, right? If you send a group of people to a training program, their managers need to reinforce it. So three actions that you can take to make sure that this happens is number one, involve the project managers, managers in the development program, if at all possible. It's not easy to do if you're sending someone externally to training, but if you're building a custom program, you have an in-house program, you can intertwine the PM's managers into that program, have them give portions of the the program and give portions of the training and interact with those uh, participants. The second thing that you can do is develop a crash course for the project managers, managers to go through with a summary of the project management program and what was covered in it, right? So if five of my PMs are going through a project management training program, me as their manager, I would get like a 90 minute crash course on what they were going through as opposed to sitting through the 10 hours of training, right? But at least I have enough information that I can reinforce to them some of the, the primary concepts that they're learning. And last but not least is to develop some kind of regular project management touch points, content, coaching calls, something where the project managers and their managers can interact regularly and talk about the latest happenings going on in the world of project management in your organization. A project that was successful, a project that wasn't successful, a project that had major scope creep or major overages. What can we do to avoid that next time? By taking these actions, you will make sure that your project managers, managers are reinforcing any kind of training that you've done or helping to build project management skills. And most importantly, they're sending a message that project management is important to the culture of our organization. And we all know that project managers are really the cash flow engine of your firm. So keeping them upskilled and having their managers support them is the best thing that you can do for long-term growth. I hope you enjoyed that episode. I think that this is something that's critical if you're in charge of learning and development or trying to develop PMs in your engineering organization. You might be doing so much work and spending so much money on a program, but if the managers of the participants cannot reinforce what they've learned afterwards, you're losing a lot of money. If you liked our video, please consider subscribing to our channel here. We put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better project managers and leaders. I'll see you next week.